right, hello, hello, hello. This is Elle's company from Bemis Crafty Corner, and today we're gonna do this project. I know, it's not paper, it's not, but it's something that we all have, and that is lace. Uh, some baker's twine, a little bit of ribbon, and maybe some embellishments, okay? So, these are um, snowflake Christmas ornaments. And I said, you know, let's see if we can do it with something else. So I used a bit of smaller lace, almost kind of looks a bit like a wreath. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do these. Very, very simple and easy. No real sewing skills or anything like that required. I will be back in just a moment to show you the supplies for this one and we will get started. All right, so supply list for this one. Um, you're gonna want some ribbon to add, you know, bows and things to these. You're probably going to want some baker's twine to put on these for hangers. Some thread in colors that correspond to the color lace that you're gonna be using, and a needle. It's not sewing, calm down. Um, some pom-poms or uh, other holiday embellishments that you might like that you can add onto these fairly simply. You're gonna want some lace. Uh, you can use some Venetian lace if you want, or you can use uh, just some regular wide lace, something that's, you know, more than an inch, inch and a half, something that's about a two inch width. You can use that as well. You're also going to want a good sturdy pair of scissors and you're gonna want some of these. These are one inch round, sew in um, curtain rings. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. You can pick these up at Joann's, but you kinda want the one inch size. I do know that they are available online through Amazon, so if you are not leaving your house, you can always pick these up through um, Amazon, okay? So, to begin, you're going to take your lace and you're gonna cut 12 inches. And I've already done that. 12 inches of lace. And then you're gonna take one of your rings and you're gonna use your scissors and you're going to cut through one side of this, okay? So that you open it up. All right? And then from here, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna kind of start on the end and you're just going to thread the loop through the lace. And then what I do is I, I kind of figure out like a pattern of how many spots I'm gonna skip. And then I just kind of put it in, going from the back to the front, back to the front, back to the front. And I go across the whole piece and this does take, you know, a little bit of effort to get started on. And so you're just gonna go back and forth, back and forth, putting it all onto one side. Two, three, over here. And we're gonna go all the way around. And what you're looking for is about a half an inch in between your in and out. Just make sure that when you're putting this on, that you're putting it on the same side of the loop each time and then just kind of moving it around. It's a little frustrating to do. One, two, three, four, we're gonna go right there. And then we're gonna go over here. One right there. Two, three, 
for make your here. As you come to the end, you kind of want to make sure that you end this end going in the same direction as this end. So you may have to like skip a loop or something like that, but that's okay. And then we'll do this last one right there. Okay, so if you look, I have both of my pieces kind of going to the back here and that's what we want and then this is where the hot glue comes in we're gonna put a little bit of hot glue right here on the inside of the loop and put it back together we're just gonna hold it for a second till it cools and hardens and once we have it hardened then it's kind of back together again then we can spread this out nice and even see pretty and then what we're going to do is take some baker's twine we're going to tie the two ends together And then we're going to put this through the center. Loop that on there. Open that up a little bit. There we go. Loop that on there. And then see these two ends, how they kind of fall apart like that? I don't like that. So what I do is I just take a needle with some thread and I find a spot where I can lay these over each other. And then I just kind of stitch, just tie a knot in it really. So I'm just gonna make sure that I go through both halves. Bring it to the end, just put a simple knot in it. Told you, no sewing. Nice little square knot right over left, left over right. And then I'm just going to cut the thread off. And then I have my little ornament. Now, if I need to put this through the back for whatever reason, you know, just for aesthetics purposes, I can do that. Spread these around a little bit. get them where I want them. Now, if I want to dress this up, I can add a piece onto this. I can put uh, a pom-pom onto it. I can take some of my ribbon and make a bow. Easy peasy. and cut my pieces off here more of an angle there a little bit of hot glue and I recommend you actually put the hot glue on the bow and then you can just press that on there. Hold it till it dries. 
and there you go. Now, if I want to add a little something else to this, I can add a little pom-pom or something. Maybe I want to put you know, a couple of little pom-poms down here underneath the bow, or maybe I want to add a little bell to this or something. I can add all of those in, and if I want this to be a little bit sticker, uh, stiffer, <laughs> sticker. if I want it to be a little bit stiffer, um, all I have to do is just, before I put on the bow, just spray this with some spray starch, let it dry, turn it over, spray the other side, let it dry, and then I can go ahead and just decorate it any way that I want, and I get this pretty little snowflake ornament. So for the next one, this one does require a little bit of sewing, I'm not going to lie. But the reason that it requires sewing is because the lace doesn't have the same gap at the top. Because this is Venetian lace, so it has this really nice wide opening at the top. And if you have that, that works. But if you don't, you just have, you know, like regular lace, you want to take about a foot, maybe a foot and a half of this, depending upon how thick you want it, how full you want it to be. Take it and then you're just going to cut it off. And then on this one, you're just going to pick, this is the inside this is the larger side and so for this one all I'm going to do is just take a needle and some thread I'm going to tie a knot in the end of my thread here and give myself oh, about a 10 inch piece here you know and then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to do you know little kid sewing in and out in and out in and out across the top just going through holes that already exist so just a running stitch across here not a lot of skill required you know the way we used to sew things when we were kids and it would fall apart yeah just like that um, now if you have rings that are thin enough to fit through your lace then by all means use the ring and use the ring method if you do not then you may want to do it this way So I'm just going to do this, and all I'm doing is just going up and down and up and down. Uh, about a half an inch on each stitch. And I'm just going to go all the way to the end. Again, I'm going to make sure that I, when I stop this, that my piece is going in the same direction as the first piece because I want those rough edges to be same on the same side. And then all I'm going to do is just let you guys see this. So it's just kind of ruffled on there lightly. Okay, so we'll take it a little bit more towards the end. And then I'm just going to take the two ends of my thread and I'm going to tie them together. And when I tie them together, it's going to draw it in, okay? And then I'll put a second stitch in. I don't want to make this too tight, but I don't want it to be loose. Just like that. And again, I'm going to go ahead and trim off my thread. So I have my little snowflake. And we're going to go ahead and get some Baker's Twine again. Same thing, we're just going to tie it in half. Tie the two ends together. And then we're going to put one of these ends through the center. Now, if for some reason you can't get it through the center, I have found that the uh, handle of a paintbrush works pretty good. Okay, wrap it around, draw it up, and then again you have your two empty, your two extra sides. 
So just take your thread and basically just give yourself a stitch. Lay them over each other. Go through them. Make sure it's on the back side. <laughs> Catch your two pieces and just knot it off. Simple square knot. Cut off your threads. And there you have your little snowflake. And if you dye this lace, then you can do the wreaths and things like that. That other was the um, piece that I had Amy dye for me. And let's say on this one, I want to add you know, a green bow. So I'm just going to get some green ribbon. Make a simple bow. hot glue. Put that on. I'm going to add a couple of hollow berries to this one. And there you go. So that's it guys. Those are my simple little wreath and snowflake ornaments. Very simple, very easy to do. Um, you can get everything that you need to do these from your Hobby Lobby or your Joann's uh, and probably right out of your own stash. So that's it guys. Listen, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and uh, hit that red button for me and subscribe. Like me, ring my bell, share me with all of your friends, and then your friends can be my friends and my friends can be your friends. And you know, that's what a community is all about. So until the next time guys, bye bye Stay safe.